installation of Thornton compact bearings and rubber lip seals on this twin screw icebreaker represents a model to conduct similar retrofits on other vessels. The elastomeric bearings manufactured by Thornton employ sea and lake water, not oil, to lubricate the shafts. New centrifugally cast bronze shaft liners are required to eliminate shaft wear and present a corrosion-free surface to the bearings. The first task is to perform accurate inboard measurements of the shaft and bolting locations, especially the distance between the bulkhead flange face and the end of each tail shaft. After breaking the couplings between intermediate and tail shafts, the aft seal housings are dismounted and the shafts drawn aft. The shafts should be cleaned and prepared for liners. With the liner IDs pre-machined to size, they are ready for shrinking to the shaft. In a closed area, raise the liner temperatures to 300 degrees Celsius or 570 degrees Fahrenheit. In this instance, the shafts are positioned vertically and liner heating is conducted with electric heating units. Similar heating can be conducted with the shafts positioned horizontally. Ceramic blankets provide insulation. Preparation of the liner includes machining to the dimensions specified on Thornton drawings and to a surface finish of 0.4 to 0.8 RA. Typical polishing for a proper finish can be conducted as here with a 400 grit belt application. This stepped taper cut with a special profile radius tool will be roughened and sealed with an application of Thorcoat, a two-part epoxy coating providing extended shaft corrosion protection. Sandblasting followed by thorough cleaning with MEK to remove any grease residue has prepared the shaft for Thorcoat. Details on the application of Thorcoat to shafts can be found on the Thornton DVD titled Applying Thorcoat, the five-step process. Either laser alignment or traditional piano wire technique can be used to determine desired bearing positions for correct alignment. Thornton compact bearings are pre-machined to final dimensions. Different methods of keying are used. In this case, a slot is machined to engage a fixed bronze key at the top of the carrier. Liquid nitrogen flows from vacuum flasks into an insulated tank containing the bearing. Only 10 to 15 minutes is required for them to shrink to a size that will permit easy fitting. The cooled bearing is removed from the tank and slid into position in the carrier bore. After positioning the bearing, use a dead blow mallet to seat it and then fit the retaining ring. Allow the bearing to thoroughly thaw before measuring the bearing bore. The shafts are now rigged into position and moved forward until they enter the alley. When handling the shaft, protect the Thor coat from damage with rubber blankets beneath the slings. Hand soap may be used as a lubricant. As the shaft is moved forward, slings are frequently shifted with rubber blankets protecting the Thor coat. At this point, seal elements can be fitted. With stationary seal components fitted to the bulkhead and other elements placed over the end of the shaft, the shaft may now be moved forward to meet the coupling. Lubricate the rubber face seal ring with petroleum jelly, slide it over the seal liner and its anti-corrosion coating, and tighten the stainless steel clamping band to the maker's instructions using an Allen key. The band needs to clamp firmly enough to be driven by the liner, yet allow slip along the liner in response to axial motion by the shaft. Fit the stationary chrome steel ring to the housing and check squareness to the shaft with a dial indicator. Check the seal installation integrity through the activation of pneumatic pressure to the maintenance seal after filling the space between the seals with water. Raise the internal pressure to three bar and maintain it for three minutes with no fall off in pressure to confirm the emergency seal is holding and that no leaks are noticeable at the stationary seal flange, the seal lip, or under the seal ring. A Thornton designed and built water quality package will extract abrasives in the water lubricating the stern bearing.
leading to greatly extended bearing life. Water enters the system and into the cyclonic separator where abrasive particles are collected in the bottom of the separator bowl. On a regular pre-timed schedule, the purge valve opens and accumulated sediment is discharged overboard. Clean water is supplied to the stern tube in excess of the minimum requirement of 0.15 liters per minute per millimeter of shaft diameter or one U.S. gallon per minute per inch of shaft diameter with an alarm in the event of low flow. Thornton provides a complete system of water lubricated bearings for marine use under the most demanding conditions. For further information on bearing installations and applications, contact your Thornton distributor.